Hi friends, it's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're not actually a subscriber of mine already and you don't feel like you like me or want to know things about me, you're probably not going to enjoy this video because I'm really just going to chit chat with you um, for a while. I've got things that I've been forgetting to put in other videos or things that I think aren't a, important in a Shein video or a Walmart video. They need their own video, but then it would be a 30 second video kind of thing. So I'm going to put them in this video. So starting off with my friend, Laura, the bargain hunter gave me this Ciate flip shadow flip, multi-chromatic shifting liquid eyeshadow. I did not wear it today. I should have, um, but I've worn it twice already and I do actually like it. Um, I say it like that because usually I'm not a fan of liquid or cream eyeshadows, <laughs> but this one, I, I liked the idea of the, you know, multi-chrome and I wanted to see how that would work out. So I'm going to insert a video of me wearing it and I did put it here and I don't know if I can get it to do the flipping, but it looks, it's a very like bronze color sometimes. And then sometimes it definitely will shift to like an olive metallic, um, more, you know how like if gold cheap jewelry has turned your skin green, <laughs> it switches to that color to like then a shiny coppery new penny orange. So those are the two colors that kind of shifts back and forth between. But I also see this next color. I put it there because it is this cream eyeshadow that was this brand. Yeah, the lid's dirty. <laughs> um, and I have used this quite a lot. At first, I just threw it kind of in my travel bag. Um, but now I've taken it out and used it even when I'm not traveling it for just like something when I'm needing something really quick and I just kind of can do like a swipe or something and blend it in like this with my finger. Um, because I like how like I can get it intense and then just kind of keep going up and it shears it out. And then see this little shiny spot here? That one is this cream eyeshadow from Studio Makeup. And I actually really do like it also. So even though I usually say I don't like any cream or liquid eyeshadows, I do have these three now that I'm actually a fan of. So thank you, Laura, for sending me this. Um, I appreciate it. I has I was hoping to get it in my boxy charm. Um, and I didn't. They never send me what I want. <laughs> um, okay, so item number two. I just got in my BoxyCharm pop-up order this teamy, skinny tea. So the first thing I noticed was I had to like Google the directions. All the stuff that it really gave me didn't really tell me like how much water even, you know, to use and how much tea and how, you know, all that kind of stuff. Anyway. Um, and the other thing I'm used to using a mug to drink out of. And then you know how you can go to like kind of test it to see if it's like cool enough to drink. Having this lid like this, because I'm not really a coffee drinker. Um, so maybe people who are used to drinking out of this kind of thing with coffee know this, but I burnt the crap out of my mouth when I just tried to like take a drink out of this, not like it wasn't functioning in that way that you can tell how hot or cold it was. Now, other people clearly maybe are more intelligent than me, but yeah, um, I immediately poured it out of this and into a coffee mug. Um, I do like that there's that little built-in strainer though, so that your tea leaves can stay in there. And then basically what it says is you can fill this back up like about three times in the day. So instead of just having your skinny tea once in the morning, you can have it like a couple other times during the day. The flavor is not tasty in my opinion. And I may try to not steep it in this container and see if that makes a difference because to me it almost tastes plasticky. So I don't know if it's because I steeped it in this, but you're supposed to be able to. And it said things like, you know, BHA plastic free or something. So anyway, that's my, my thought on that. Um, also, I didn't tell you that like right before Nadia left to start her internship and go back, we went to the zoo and, um, we had a nice day that day. And um, look, I want to put in some pictures of the giraffes had a baby and that was really cute. And we saw 
tigers that were just seemed like they were so close to us and um flamingos that again i mean i've seen flamingos and stuff but i guess i hadn't really studied them that close and it was interesting to me how their neck like curved around their own body okay what else um some of this is just things that like i had saved on my phone and wanted to share with people and then never did but here was a funny house for sale sign that i saw one time um in case you can't exactly read it it says um like it's not haunted um or at least we think it's not or something like that ha, that made me laugh um, what else oh the other thing um i wanted to say was so when we were moving i was able to steal um take some of my irises out of my yard that I had planted there from our first house that I took irises out of the yard from. Um, and I've moved them then with me to my other houses. So they've been in like three different locations now. It's the fourth location. Um, and I was really afraid that maybe I wouldn't be able to do that. Um, like if the timing wasn't right on when you could transplant, you know, the flowers, bulbs or whatever. But anyway, I did it. I really hope that they live because I don't in this apartment have really a spot to plant them. So I've put them in pots and I'm not really sure how that will work out either, but I'm giving it a shot. So if anybody knows that, you know, they absolutely won't work in a pot or something, they should let me know, help me out. Um, and then I've been missing so many mask Mondays and people had done all kinds of cool of the question and answer things. So since I'm not quite to like even 10 minutes, I feel like I just want to do a few of those and then, you know, I won't make the video go on forever, but I'm starting with them because they were fun to me and I was in the mood to make a video and I need something to talk about besides those things that I already mentioned that I wanted to mention. Okay. So starting out with, have you ever flashed someone? And I'm going to say, yeah, absolutely. Actually, I think I flash my husband all the time. Like probably weirdly, maybe I need to grow out of it. Um, <laughs> but um, I think sometimes they'll just be starting to get grumpy or something and I'll flash him um, because I think it's funny. Okay. Anyway, um, belch the alphabet. Um, no, I have never tried that. Um, I've never even thought about trying that. I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, I guess I don't, I don't think I ever belch. I burp, <laughs> but I don't think that's even considered the same thing. Okay. Have you laughed so hard? I wet myself. Um, I'm going to have to say, yeah, I think I probably have and not like full on wet myself, but had a little leak. But also if there are people out there that are like over 45 and have, you know, been pregnant or had like a tumor cut out of their stomach that don't wet themselves a little bit, I need to probably know how you get by with that too. Cause I think I'll wet myself sometimes when I sneeze too hard, if I'm not like prepared for it. Okay. Fick to wedgie in public. Um, sure. I'm positive that I've done that too. Um, rubbed someone else's toothbrush with something gross. Um, no, um, that, that seems like a really mean thing to do. And I guess I don't, I've never had access to somebody's toothbrush that I hated enough to do that to them. Um, okay. Um, publicly done something that still makes me cringe. Um, I'm positive, like probably almost every single time I go out drinking, there's something by the end of the night that I have regretted doing the next day. Um, skinny dipped. Yes, I have definitely skinny dipped. Um, mile high club. Nope. Um, not really into publicly getting it on. <laughs> okay. Um, danced on a table or bar. Yes, absolutely. Like many times actually. Um, <laughs> sometimes it would just, in fact, I, if I can find a picture of me doing it, cause I've done it that many times, I'll go ahead and insert. <laughs> okay. Um, use the men's room. Yeah. So many times. Um, the line for the women's room is always so much longer than the men's. And I do feel like it's one of those things where I wish that they weren't even separate so that like you could go through it except for the fact that the men's room is almost always grosser than the women's room. I don't know what you men are doing. Like how, how do you just want to go in there and be gross about your business? Okay. Um, snuck into movies. Nope. I don't think that I've done that. Partied for more than 24 hours. Um, I don't think I've even ever stayed awake for more than 24 hours, let alone partied for more than 24 hours. Of course, my cat has jumped up to where I've placed you. Hi. Yeah. So definitely not party more than 24 hours. Although. Yeah, I think, I mean, I've also not done like 
cocaine or crack. And I think that those are the only things that like somebody could party for more than 24 hours. I just can't even imagine. Um, I think, would that be a good place to stop? I don't want the video too long. I think that is. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm glad to be back doing videos. I hope you didn't mind this one with my kitty. Get me to, here's where I had used the shelf here, the cat shelf that was sitting in front of the window because I thought that would be a great place to put it. But of course, then I get visitors. Okay. Thank you. And whatever you're supposed to say. Bye.